Live from the Quadigian capital, this is the GBN Television News. GBN, covering you from the Grenadine Island chain to Brooklyn, New York, via the World Wide Web on www.gbn.gd. The News Headlines is brought to you compliments. GUT Credit Union. We all have wishes at Christmas. Maybe it's a car, repairs to your home, new appliances, or travel. Get yourself that perfect gift with a GUT Credit Union Christmas Make-A-Wish Loan. You can get the money you need to make that holiday wish come true. Apply for a loan and you'll be entered to win one of five shopping sprees at Foodland Supermarket. Plus, great prices from Sol EC Limited, Dean Mattresses, Digicel Grenada Limited, and Beacon Insurance. Call 4401354, email loans at gutcu.com, or visit go.gutcu.com. UTCU.com forward slash Christmas. Apply now and make your wish the perfect gift this Christmas. Special conditions apply. From Television Center at the Grenada Broadcasting Network, this is Network News for Thursday, December 29, 2022. In the headlines, allegations of foreign organization extending $10,000 gift to local agency. Tourism Authority records significant increase in visitor arrivals for the third consecutive month. New licensing discs for motor vehicles. Eastern Caribbean Currency Union projects 3 to 6 percent growth in 2023. Regionally, Britain imposes sanctions on Haitian gang leader Jimmy Cheriger. Internationally, cities across Ukraine are targeted by a wave of Russian missiles strikes. Plus in the sports news, Kylian Mbappe waves off Martinez's futile taunts while Netherlands player signs with Liverpool. We invite you to stay with us. We'll be back with the details. The first segment of the news comes to you compliments. Soft weave, bathroom tissue. Have you heard about the new soft weave bathroom tissue with Total Hygiene? As hygiene and safety have taken center stage, a bathroom tissue is now manufactured with three different technologies to offer the best protection for you and your family. UVC light technology for a safe and effective disinfection process, eliminating 99.9% .9 of microorganisms. Also, production at high temperatures, killing all types of germs and bacteria. And it's pH controlled with delicate fibers to prevent irritation for even sensitive skin. Soft Weave Total Hygiene Bathroom Tissue. Available in supermarkets and shops island-wide. Visit Soft Weave Caribbean Facebook or Instagram pages for more information. Good evening, I'm Kenroy Batiste. The Grenada Broadcasting Network has been seeking to verify the authenticity of a document which is in circulation in social media. It carries the letterhead of a major organization in Grenada. That agency is known to have a large overseas clientele. Nisha Peters has this evening's top story. The document details in receipt of gifts in the month of December, including a large sum of cash. The items were opened in the presence of three officials. Two senior officials in the organization wrote to the alleged sender, outlining that they cannot accept the gift because it contravened its ethics and policies. GBN made several efforts today to contact officials of both organizations, which were identified in the document. One of the persons who was contacted said the document in circulation was drawn to their attention. However, the official said since they returned gifts from time to time, they were not yet in a position to comment on the authenticity of that particular document. That person has promised to review and revert to the GBN. More information will be provided if and when this is made available. For GBN News, I am Nisha Peters. Well, new licensing discs are being issued to vehicle owners starting next week. Let's get the rest of the details from Chris Lena John. 
From the first week of January 2023, motor vehicle owners will have a new licensing decal or disc attached to their vehicles. Sergeant Edward Abraham, officer in charge of the licensing department within Inland Revenue, says the new system has been tested and is up and ready for implementation. The officer explains the adjustments. All right, in 2023, the RGPF will be rolling out a new license decal, which we call the disc or the stick on the windscreen. Um, for over the years, we have been using what we know on the screen right now as a disc and um, where we have to punch it and mark on it and everything like that. Uh, that will be a thing of the past. In the new di um, disc or decal that we'll be having, it will be done electronically. But we are hoping that we start on the 3rd of January and everything will be just roll out, rolling out fine. Sergeant Abraham provides details on what will happen after the inspection process. Right, so when persons come from inspecting the motor vehicles, they pay the required fees, they will come to us with the um, inspection certificate, the receipt from payments, and the original insurance certificate. And we will retrieve that information from them, enter it into the system, and generate the decal for them. So the, gener the, um, the decal will be generated from the licensing system that we have. And that decal, what will be there is the vehicle registration number will be on the decal, the VIN number, and also the type of vehicle will be on that decal. There will also be a QR code, yes, where we can obtain information from that code, and also um, the license decal number. The new system for the licensing disc will be done in St. David, St. Andrew, St. John, and St. George. He adds that this will also serve as a deterrent to unlawful acts. It is for us a step in the right direction due to the fact that over the years we have situations where a person will remove a license disc from one vehicle to another. But this now, it will be very difficult to do because the decal or the disc that will be on the motor vehicle will be carrying the information concerning the motor vehicle that it's on, then the registration number and everything. So Sergeant Abraham assures the public that this new method will not be difficult to adjust to. However, he appeals for patience and understanding as they work through this phase. Inspections to be conducted for 2023 in St. George will take place at the National Stadium throughout the inspection period, beginning January 3rd to June 30th. The officer notes that a number of police officers have been in training, bringing them up to speed with the new system. Christina John, GBN News. Looking back at 2022 as it draws to a close, Dr. Damien Graves, professor of social sciences at St. George's University, commended the way Grenada handled the COVID-19 pandemic. However, Dr. Graves says the effects of the pandemic call for a stronger healthcare system. We have to actually accept the fact that Grenada did a brilliant job in the first instance. There were, um, when the second wave came around, there were, there were some difficulties and one has to look at that. So what we, when we look at the response, we have to talk about the strength of the health workforce. And COVID-19 tested the strength of the health system. In fact, what it showed is that there were some deficiencies and weaknesses in, in, in the health system. And what we are talking about now all globally is the strengthening of health systems. And Grenada, of course, has been looking at the strengthening of its health system. Because here's a situation where you had to focus your resources in terms of uh, your health workforce, your financial resources, and all other kinds of resources on COVID. COVID-19, but you still had to deal at the same time with your chronic diseases, with your other infectious diseases. At that time, you remember the, the, the dengue reared its ugly head at, at, at the same time. And you also have to deal with climate change and all the confluence of events.
Dr. Graves commended many sectors of society, especially the frontline workers, for the successful containment of the virus. He said that although the virus bent the health system, it did not break it. So a good job had been done, but there was a, the, the, the fact is that the system did not break. The system became brittle, but it did not necessarily break. And that is something that we have to applaud. Because if it had broken, there would have been mayhem. But what caused it not to break was the leadership at the time. There was definitely, you ha definitely have to talk about the leadership at the time in terms of how things were put in place. You have to talk about the health workforce. You have to talk about what we call the ancillary services, the, Grena the Royal Grenada Police Force and all the other services that that came together. The year 2022 started in the midst of Grenada's second COVID-19 outbreak, which saw active cases in the thousands during early January. The Grenada Tourism Authority has announced a significant increase in visitor arrivals for the third consecutive month. The review period started in September, and the GTA has been used in 2019 as its benchmark year since COVID-19 struck in 2020. Christina John tells us more. Data suggests that this November was exceptional, with over 14,000 visitors. The last quarter of 2022 has seen the return of all international flights into Grenada. This includes both Air Canada with a twice-weekly service and Sunwing Airlines every Sunday from Toronto. Condor Airlines from Frankfurt also returned with a direct flight service every Sunday, and British Airways expanded their flight schedule from London Gaswick by adding a third flight. Caribbean Airlines Limited moved to provide a daily service from Trinidad and Tobago. CEO of the Grenada Tourism Authority, Petra Roach, stated that during the pandemic, the GTA did a lot of groundwork. You have results surpassing 2019 numbers in September, October, November, and we expect the same will happen in December. I think that it's really testament to a lot of the groundwork that we put into place during the pandemic. You know, we looked at systems and systems which could actually create a much more efficient operation. And also, we put policies and processes in place which could evaluate our activity. We also engaged new PR teams, both in North America and in the UK. And then the overseas sales teams, we actually strengthen those with additional team members. Ms. Roach says they expect to finish the year 2022 with a 2% 2 growth. We saw a much more cost-effective marketing reach and also we could assess quite quickly if something was working and if it wasn't, we could actually switch that out. So the digital footprint has really been very advantageous to us and our effectiveness. And a lot of the time that we had was prioritized also to deepening the relationships with our distribution channels in the marketplace. So I'm talking about our travel agents community, our tour operator partners, so that we could really drill down and understand better how their business is aligned with our product. And we continue to build out Grenada's brand equity so that ultimately travelers who are looking for somewhere to travel to that they will have Grenada in their consideration set of places that they want to visit. Christina John, GBN News. This is Network News from the Grenadian capital. Still to come from us, Eastern Caribbean Currency Union projects 3 to 6 percent growth in 2023. We'll talk about that. Stay with us. Isa celebrates 75 years of transforming lives with its celebratory suite of loan products. Own your own vehicle, education, land, or home, and anchor your roots. Start living the life you deserve by applying for an own your own loan at reduced interest rates. Simplify your life and consolidate all your debts by applying for a Simplify loan and open doors to new beginnings and explore more opportunities to shape your future. 
call or send us a WhatsApp on 423-4987 or email us at loans at arisecu.com today to continue your journey towards financial freedom. Terms and conditions apply. Arisa Credit Union, celebrating 75 years of transforming lives. Christmas safety tips. Always unplug Christmas tree lights before leaving home or going to sleep. Check your tree lights and outdoor lights for damage each year before you use them. Discard lights with frayed wires, loose connections, and cracked sockets. Do not overload your wall outlets or extension cords. Remind children never to touch lights or outlets. Select lights appropriately. Never use indoor lights outside or vice versa. Happy Holidays from Grenlick. The best option is drinking little or no alcohol this holiday season. Here are some tips to limit your alcohol consumption. Mix your own drinks so you can monitor how much you are drinking. The recommendation is no more than one drink a day for women and two for men. Avoid drinking on an empty stomach. Alternate alcoholic drinks with non-alcoholic ones. Drink slowly and stick with drinks that have lower alcohol content. The best option Option is drinking little or no alcohol this holiday season. A message from the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council. Make your wishes come true this Christmas with a loan from Quad Bank. Make those home renovations, treat your family and friends, and get the things on your Christmas list. All of this is possible with our hassle-free financing of up to $40,000. Apply today and you can be one of the five lucky customers to win a shopping spree. Have it all as you wish this Christmas with Quad Bank. Visit our website or your nearest retail banking unit for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Enchanted. 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 Saturday, December 31st, the Athletic Stadium will be transformed into a sea of black and silver as we roll out the red carpet for Enchanted. Grenada, get ready to welcome from Barbados, the legendary band Cross Fire. I'm a Fire celebrating their 33rd anniversary alongside performances from Vern and the Legacy Band. Mr. Golden. Dash. Music by DJ Danny and Kingpin. Look out for the lovely fireworks display to welcome 2023. Get your early bird tickets for only $130. VIP $450. Complimentary drink on entry. Don't miss Enchanted. The perfect way to end off 2022 and start 2023. Brought to you by Megaforce Promotions and sponsored by Netherlands Insurance. Ho, ho, ho! It's the season to be jolly, and the NLA is giving back loads of prizes to its loyal customers in its exciting Xmas Bonanza promotion. Yes, Grenada! It's your opportunity to win hams and bottles of wine and rum from November 15th to December 31st. Over 450 prizes will be up for grabs during this festive season. Simply purchase a single ticket valued at $12 or more in Lotto. Cash four, Playway or pick three. And check your tickets for the word ham, wine or rum. Play daily for chances to win every day. Prices are redeemable at NLA's head office on the Carinage. On Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Starting November 16th. Between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Must be 18 or older to participate. Terms and conditions apply. NLA, supporting sports, culture and nation building. Happy Christmas, Grenada. Ho, ho, ho. No, this is Christmas time. Celebrate and style. With fun at your own, you can we we'll make it with your one. With unsecured loans, reduce interest rates, win cash prizes for the best Christmas ever. So we'll make it day. Fire on playing, hey. How on plastic eating. No, this is Christmas. Get unsecured loans up to fifty thousand dollars and a chance to win cash prizes this Christmas at the Public Bank. We're the one. 
It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be on your own front door They come with a catalog you know word for word. They have a league of fans that stretch as far as the eye can see. Their legacy speaks for itself, so we don't have to. The Radisson Grenada Beach Resort is the place to be this New Year's Eve from 9 p.m. for the classic way to ring in the new year. Featuring Third World. This classic cast will also feature Sabrina and the Treehouse Band live. Early bird tickets are available at go2fets.com and cast unisex boutique. Single tickets $500, couples $800. Sunshine Promotions presents Classic. Classic. A signature all-inclusive experience. Celebrating the old and welcoming the new. Sponsored by Blast, Independence Agencies Limited, St. Augustine Medical Services, Madison Grenada Beach Resort, Best Quote Construction, and Netherlands Insurance. Proud supporter of the arts. GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. Have your family or friends ever needed cash now, but you are nowhere close to give it to them directly? With the cardless cash feature from Republic Bank Online and your mobile phone, it is hassle-free and convenient to send money to anyone, including yourself, using the Republic mobile app. Simply log into your account, access the cardless feature, enter the amount you want to transfer, and using the access code provided, the cash can be withdrawn instantly from a designated Republic Bank agent without a card. Republic Bank Cardless Cash is convenient at your fingertips. To learn more about our cardless cash features, visit republicgrenada.com for more details. Special terms and conditions apply. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. We're back at Television Center. This story to report, Grenada and other Eastern Caribbean countries are expected to register growth of between 3 and 6 percent in the new year. That's according to projections put forward by the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. The recovery is eagerly anticipated as the island recovers from the COVID-19 crisis. Grenada and other currency union members were impacted by the pandemic between the first quarter of 2020 and all of 2022. The ECCB governor, Grenadian Dr. Timothy N.J. Entwine, has been looking at the projection for the year ahead. In terms of economic prospects, we project the ECCB will grow by between 3 and 5%. This range reflects significant uncertainty and downside risk. The growth performance will be influenced by geopolitical factors and the extent to which major central banks, particularly the U.S., the Fed, could reduce inflation while avoiding or minimizing a recession. Now, as we look ahead, the ECCB will assiduously pursue its resilience and transformation agenda, which includes fairer treatment of customers by financial institutions through a new market conduct framework. Faster progress on renewable energy to enhance energy security, lower emissions, and reduce energy costs. More progress on the greening of our financial system to respond to the climate crisis and preserve financial stability. And payments modernization as part of a broader effort to build out a digital economy for shared prosperity. All right, so the ECCU will be celebrating its 40th anniversary in 2023 with the launch of its calendar of events next month. The year 2023 will be a milestone year for the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank as we celebrate its 40th anniversary. 
This will be an exciting time of reflection, celebration, as well as anticipation for the fifth decade and beyond. We will launch our year-long celebration in January. We have much to commemorate, so please join the celebration of ECCB at 40. Now, sporting enthusiasts in Grenada and across the world are grieving the death of Brazilian football legend Pele, arguably the greatest player ever. He died at the age of 82. He's credited with scoring a world record 1,281 goals in 1,363 appearances during a 21-year career, including 77 goals in 92 matches for his country. The only player to win the World Cup three times, lifting the trophy in 1958, 1962, and 97 and 1970. Pele was named FIFA's Player of the Century in 2000. He had been suffering with kidney and prostate problems in recent years. We have more details on his passing in the sports news. Health Minister Jonathan Lecret's comment on the $500 honorarium awarded to nurses is what has been creating a buzz on social media. Beverly Tellisford has been looking around the platforms. We present the news. You analyze the various topics and distill the issues as they unfold. Your distillation points matter as we're about to highlight them in our social buzz report. A $500 per month honorarium from government may not be enough to entice nurses from leaving Grenada to seek better livelihoods for themselves. However, Health Minister Jonathan Lacrette says it's worth a try. To me, it was an apology to our nurses for being called chicken thieves. One, two, to me, it was an apology also for the way that they have been treated over the past few years. Devalued, disdained, lack of compassion, and I can go on. Health Minister Jonathan Lacret says government's honorarium to nurses in the amount of $500 per month serves as an apology. Social media users took to the comment section to share their thoughts about this development. The following views are that of members of the public and not of the Grenada Broadcasting Network. This person said a nice gesture. But where is the honorarium for the people who worked tirelessly through the whole pandemic? Please tell me. I want to know. This person added the Grenada Public Workers Union the Grenada Nurses Association and the nurses themselves are appreciative of the move. It is a noted step in the right direction. Carolyn said, Honestly, you can't blame nurses if they are seeking better opportunities outside of Grenada since they have a right to look out for their own interests. There is a lot about the health system in Grenada that needs reform. I appreciate that the minister is at least acknowledging this and taking actions to creating some change. Aerie said, I stand with my country. Let's give them a try and do our best to serve people of country. Nursing is a career you must have a passion for, or else you won't sacrifice for others. And Karim said, but after the one year, what's going to happen? Are they going to keep getting the $500 or getting more or nothing at all? That's what's buzzing tonight. We encourage you, our viewers and listeners, to submit your think pieces on trending topics locally, regionally, and internationally via our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Continue to share your thoughts and concerns with us on our social media platforms. Still ahead in network news, Olia's market to be to uh, Olia's market on track to be held tomorrow. Stay with us, we'll be back. Experienced drivers, you've ruled the road. Now you can enjoy the rewards with Beacon's 50 plus car insurance plan. Get hassle free sign up, affordable payment options, and free windscreen cover. Call us at 440 4447 or log on to beacon.co.tt and get driving with Beacon today. Disinfectant spray is certified by a U.S. EPA compliant lab to kill the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Beep Disinfectant Spray is now available in a convenient travel size can that travels everywhere with you. Beep for a happy, healthy home.
What does it take to be an amazing woman? Lots of me time. Amazing women are classy, fancy, and a little sassy. It's the drink for me. Cheers. Sometimes you've got to show them who's boss. Alpha male? Nah, alpha females are more amazing. Cheers to secure in the bag. We make time for ourselves, for work, friends, and we certainly make time for passion. We're simply amazing. Amazing cream liqueur for the amazing woman in you. This Christmas, give the gift of sight with a little help from Quartz Optical. Choose from the widest selection of fashionable and affordable frames with flexible payment plans available from 3 to 24 months. Schedule your appointment online today at www.courtsoptical.com and get a free gift with every frame plus lens purchase. Come enjoy our gift to you from Courts Optical, where your eye exam is always free. All major insurance providers are accepted. See and stop for details. Merry Christmas from Courts Optical. Value you can see. Weather Guard Pro. For every project, there's only one Pro. A whole new level of convenience and comfort awaits you when you shop at Rise and Shine Supermarket and Hardware Supplies, Griffin Lane, Grenville. Convenient, because we are open Sunday to Sunday. We're even at your service on public holidays. Comfort, because we are easily accessible to the physically challenged. Free Wi-Fi is available while you shop, and bags come at no charge. Everyday low prices and excellent customer care. Adequate parking available. We supply everything you can possibly think of. Family and home supplies, fresh meat, vegetables, and personal care products. All brands of cooking gas at affordable prices. You can send in your order, have it pulled, or pick up express. Gittin's Healthcare Pharmacies have catered for all the early shoppers. So, start your Christmas shopping now and avoid the rush. Visit Gittin's Healthcare Pharmacies for your gift sets, toys for the children, hair care and body care products, along with your prescription and over-the-counter medication. Shop early and avoid the Christmas rush at Gittin's Healthcare Pharmacies, Central Deputy Street, Guob, the corner of Victoria and Jubilee Street, Grenville, and Wall Street, Grand Ants. Southern Electrical announces its Christmas sale. Discounts on items store-wide, from kitchen appliances, household items, security cameras, and light fixtures. In-store prices and a chance to win a 32-inch smart TV. Sale starts on Monday, 12 December to Friday, 23 December. Southern Electrical, best value, expert advice, quality product. Affordable quality products delivered to you via superb service. We are superb distributors, wholesalers and authorized agents for trusted products you know and love. Like Rika Juices, Pure Heaven Products, Bibbin Diapers, New Bright Laundry Detergent, Allegra Pasta and more. Contact Superb Distributors at 435-2948 for superb quality and service. Welcome back to Network News. The final day of true Grenadian flair and flavor will be exhibited at the Karani James Athletic Stadium car park tomorrow Friday, December 30, 2022, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The old year's market will be vibrant and festive as locals prepare to ring in the new year. 
Local vendors will again showcase everything that is authentically Grenadian, with a variety of locally made items on sale. There will be several added attractions, live entertainment, as well as a variety of local food and beverages on sale. A similar market was held last Friday, dubbed the Christmas Market. Both events aim to promote a healthy lifestyle, displaying art and other aspects of culture. Free shuttle services will be provided from the St. George's Bus Terminus to the Karani James Athletic Stadium. Christmas cheer was definitely spread throughout the holiday weekend. Our citizen journalists captured it through this evening's GBN Isolands. A good eye captures all. GBN Isol is brought to you by Clevision. Life is beautiful if only you can see it. Clear Vision Eye Center helps you do just that. We provide expert service, classy eyewear, and cutting edge technology, all with a quality customer experience. See better, feel better, and look better. Meet us today at clearvisiongrenada.com or call 444-0055, WhatsApp 409-0055, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Clear Vision Eye Center, let's see life and the world with a clear vision. Tonight, citizen journalists submitted photos and videos of an interactive, fun, toy-giving session at the Grand Dance Housing Scheme in St. George. Through the St. John's Educators Scholarship Fund organization, Mrs. Carnese Modest brought Christmas cheer to children in the area. Apart from presents, they were treated to games and other fun activities. Send us your photo and video submissions via WhatsApp on 405-3052 or our other social media platforms. Sports news up next, followed by Around the Globe. your gifts of love for chair 2.0 tis the season for holly jolly days at the communal it's all about sharing the warmth of the season with those you love getting on this special loan taking advantage of great interest rates with no principal payments until january 2023 share the gift of love make it a merrier christmas with the communal exciting prizes for members throughout the promotion for we are your santa this christmas offer ends at january 30 31st, 2023, lending terms and conditions of life. Flavored tips for people living with hypertension this holiday season. Enjoy frozen ham in moderation instead of salt ham. Buy local or frozen vegetables instead of canned ones. Limit tin or canned foods like corned beef. But if you decide to have a little, throw hot water over it before eating to remove some of the salt or fat. You don't have to be perfect at every meal. Just be cautious of your choices. A message from the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council. Sisson's Weather Guard Pro. For every project, there's only one Pro. if only you can see it. Clear Vision Eye Center helps you do just that. We provide expert service, classy eyewear, and cutting edge technology, all with a quality customer experience. See better, feel better, and look better. Meet us today at clearvisiongrenada.com or call 444-0055, WhatsApp 409-0055, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Clear Vision Eye Center. Let's see life and the world with a clear vision. 
Hubbards is once again innovating the way you shop with its new online store, providing 24-hour shopping convenience. You can shop now for appliances, hardware, houseware, building material, and more. Free delivery island-wide. Start shopping now at hubbardshardware.gd. Safe, convenient, reliable. Good evening, sporting fans. Brazilian football legend Pele, arguably the greatest player ever, has died at the age of 82. Details in this report from Inside Edition. Brazilian soccer icon Pele has died. The legendary footballer had been battling health issues for more than a year. Pelé, who was born Edson Arantes do Nascimento, is considered one of the greatest players of all time. Born in poverty outside Sao Paulo, Pelé was determined to be successful. In his 2014 bestseller, Why Soccer Matters, he explained that he and his friends were so poor they had to tie socks together to make a soccer ball. But his talent and hard work paid off. At 15, he started playing professional soccer with his favorite club, Santos. Pelé made his mark on the world stage while still a teenager when he represented Brazil at the 1958 World Cup. Three-time World Cup winner also dominated with club teams for nearly two decades. In 1975, he moved to New York City to play with the New York Cosmos in the North American Soccer League. In his two seasons with the Cosmos, he helped popularize what he called the beautiful game in the U.S. before retiring for good in 1977. In his retirement, he was an ambassador for the sport. L.A was married three times, most recently in 2016. He is survived by his widow and six children from previous relationships and marriages. Pele was 82 years old. All right, this story. Alec Burke scored a season-high 32 points. Sadiq Bey added 28, and the Detroit Pistons overcame the ejection of two players after a scuffle to beat the Orlando Magic 121-101 to in the NBA on Wednesday night and snap a six-game losing streak. Killian Hayes and Amidou Diallo were thrown out after the fight just before halftime. Moritz Wagner was uh, tossed for Orlando and took a shot to the back of the head from Hayes and appeared to be briefly knocked out. Jalen Duran finished with seven points and 18 rebounds for the Pistons, who got 76 points from their bench. Franz Wagner had 19 points for Orlando, who lost on back-to-back -back nights after winning eight of nine. With 33 seconds left in the first half, Moritz Wagner hip-checked Hayes into the Pistons bench as they chased a loose ball. With Wagner facing the players on the Detroit bench, every Orlando player in uniform raced to the spot. Wagner was ejected for a a flagrant foul, while Hayes and Hamadou Diallo were ejected for their actions in the aftermath. Hayes got back up and struck Wagner in the back of the head, knocking him into the bench. Talk about that one. Right. France striker Kylian Mbappe has said he won't waste energy on such futile things when asked about Argentina goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez's taunts after the World Cup final. Martinez called for a minute silence for Mbappe during his team's dressing room celebrations in Qatar and posed with a doll depicting the player. Martinez, who also made a rude gesture with the trophy for the tournament's best goalkeeper, in the wake of Argentina's shootout win on December 18, is reportedly due back to training as with Aston Villa on Thursday, where 
manager, Yuna Emery, has said he will speak to him about his celebrations. Martinez's antics, which also included various attempts to unsettle Les Bleu penalty takers during the shootout, have caused consternation in France. Former France defender Adel Rami called Martinez the most hated man, while French congressman Carl Olive said FIFA should rescind his best goalkeeper award. Well, Liverpool completed the signing of Netherlands forward Cody Hackpow from PSV Eindhoven on Wednesday. The 23-year-old Hackpow, who scored three goals at the World Cup, will officially join the Premier League club when the transfer window opens on Sunday. PSV announced on Monday that they had agreed to the transfer for an undisclosed fee, describing it as a record for the Dutch club. Hackpow scored 55 goals and provided 50 assists in 159 appearances for PSV. All right, that is the sports news for now. Britain has imposed sanctions on Haitian gang leader Jimmy Cherizier, saying he had committed acts that constitute serious human rights abuses. The government imposed an asset freeze and travel ban on Cherizier, the leader of the so-called G9 alliance of Haitian gangs, saying he had engaged in acts that threatened the peace, security and stability of Haiti. Hundreds of people have been killed this year due to tough battles in Haiti, which has arrived. 200 gangs of varying size that have become the de facto authorities in large parts of the capital, Port-au-Prince. The Canadian government took similar action last month as its foreign office said Cherisher's acts were causing a humanitarian crisis in the Caribbean nation. This story to report Montserrat, the Emerald Isle, erupts with an explosion of color, music, revelry, and creativity during the Year in, Fe year in Festival. The celebration started from mid-December and will climax on New Year's Day. We can tell you the festival now extends for over 10 days. It was cut short in 2020 due to the arrival of COVID-19. Charlene Lindsay from the Montserrat Arts Council is excited about this year's activity. Activities. It's our first time being back outside for carnival um, post-COVID. Uh, I say post-COVID, people say it and done, but you know, we're outside. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we were back in Festival Village for the past two years. We've been having shows at Cultural Center, which is an indoor um, venue and you can only hold so many people you know all the restrictions it's hot it's this it's that it's good for the purpose it was built for we are outside indeed well Lindsay says that the 60th carnival celebrations have already seen an increase in visitors to the island a lot of people are home visiting from the diaspora different Caribbean islands um, the US, the UK, Canada, we have a lot of people who came home. Yes, we did have a few issues with access, but plenty of people here. And you said you've been seeing the ladies arriving and they are here. They're getting ready for the show tomorrow as well. So only great things, only great things. Further afield, cities across Ukraine have been targeted by a wave of Russian missile strikes in one of the largest bombardments since the war began. At least three people, including a 14-year-old girl, were taken to hospital after explosions hit the capital, Kiev, according to the city's mayor. Blasts were also heard in the cities of Kharkiv, Odessa, 
And uh, Zetome, Ukraine's military said six to nine missiles were launched with air defenses intercepting 54 of them. Earlier, the presidential advisor said more than 120 missiles had been launched at civilian infrastructure. The air raid lasted for close to five hours, and the regional leader of the southern province of Odessa said a massive missile uh, attack uh, was uh, on in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Air Force said Russia attacked the country from various directions with air and sea-based cruise missiles. It added that a number of kamikaze drones had also been used. Authority said in, uh, in an operational update that the strikes had been targeted at energy infrastructure across the entire country. Two homes in Kiev, for example, were damaged by debris from intercepted missiles, according to the city military administration. According to authorities, 16 missiles were destroyed over the city by air defenses. Stay with us. We'll remind you of the headlines after this. Recapping the headlines, allegations of foreign organization extending $10,000 gift to local agency. Tourism Authority records significant increase in visitor arrivals for the third consecutive month. New licensing discs for motor vehicles. Eastern Caribbean Currency Union projects 3 to 6 percent growth in 2023. Regionally, Britain imposes sanctions on Haitian gang leader. Internationally, cities across Ukraine targeted by a wave of Russian missile strikes. Plus in the sports news, Kylian Mbappe waves off Martinez's futile taunts while Netherlands player signs with Liverpool. That's the news, Tribune News for Thursday, December 29, 2022. If you missed any part of this newscast, the repeat of it will be broadcast at 10 o'clock tonight. Continue to follow us online, gbn.gd, on GBN Television Facebook page and YouTube channel for these and other top stories. I'm Ken Roy we'll see you next time.